up guys, it's your girl Jay here and I am back for another video and if you can tell by the title down below, it is my March the vertical sleeve update. March has come and gone, so has my birthday, and I am so excited to share with you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly of everything that happens in VSG from my perspective. Um, everybody has their own story to tell, and I am only telling mine. Do more research before you even think about having the surgery, because it's not an easy fix if that's what you think it is. So, let me get on to my March update. Update. Nothing really changed weight-wise. Um, that is okay because I've been in the same low 300 since last year since that on like like almost at the end of last year So nothing really changed on that front um, Basically, I am in the process of um, thinking about having a second surgery the single loop switch This is where the stomach don't get touched. It's just that it's they're touching the intestines this time to help with mouth to help with mount um, nourishing to help with mouth nourishing However, however you pronounce that, malnutrition. I'm in the process of doing that, so I gotta see the surgeon, Dr. Danny Sherwinter at Maimonides Medical Center. And I've already talked to a psychologist, psychiatrist, psychologist um, at the center. She wrote her report. Then I've been seeing my regular primary for like over three years. I've been seeing the nutritionist for over six months, so I can easily get that paperwork done. I would have to do another endoscopy when I do decide to finally go through with it. So this process to get the second surgery would be a lot faster than it would be on getting the first one. Um, I was told that I'm I'm in a class of super morbidly obese, um, which is medically like class three, the highest there is, the most dangerous because of my BMI was a 64, I think it was, which is a really high BMI. I'm 5'9 and the highest weight I was, the highest weight that I've, that I've kind of remember being was 436 pounds. So yeah, 64 pounds, I mean 64, um, 64 BMI is kind of like extreme and now I'm 5'9", 300, I, I fluctuate between 307 and 317, like between there, so I'm still um, a BMI in the 40s, like 40, 41, 42, and I'm still in a super morbid obese category and I am still, instead of a class three, I am now a class one. So, hence why I've been in the low 300s for a while, and a lot of it could be emotionally, a lot of it could be the surgery, the, the sleeve took me as far as it can go um, in the amount of time. I have lost over 100 and something pounds. A lot of people say that is good to me, that is not good because again being 436 as my max and i'm not comparing myself to anybody else do not compare the, yourself to anybody else as this is what i constantly keep telling y'all um i can be more um if if ideally they want me to be 200 i still have another 110 pounds to go and i just can't do that right now so as what was brought up to me i'm at a stage where now at the weight i am now is usually when people start you know what I'm saying so that's kind of crazy like I'm at a weight now that people usually start their journey and I've been on this journey for almost three years so yeah so the way I was it was a possibility that I probably would have needed a second surgery so because I can't keep doing um, liquid protein diets I can't keep doing veggies and protein I can't keep doing just um, military diets. I can't keep doing that to jumpstart the sleeve. You know what I mean? So you can't keep doing something to jumpstart it if it's like dying down. Um, I eat a little bit more than what I'm supposed to, hence why I'm seeing a psychologist. Um, I was suggested by the nutritionist to see a psychologist about my eating habits and why I probably overeat or whatever. Um, so I went to intake that one day and I start seeing her officially um, coming up so I can't wait I'm the type of person that really don't talk about my feelings I cry I, I try I get teary-eyed when I do think about stuff or people want to talk about stuff I just don't talk about it so hence why like I found out I am emotionally imbalanced which means I'm like this I'm straight face no emotions nothing 
And then when a spurge hit me, or I or I I I, I blow up, it goes like that. So I'm I'm flatlined. <laughs> and then all of a sudden something triggers and go whoop. And then I flatline again. I feel better once that spike hits, but then I'm flatlined again until the next spike hits. And I was told that is not healthy at all, and that is okay. I've been like that my whole life, and it's gonna take some time to change on that. And but it's okay. I, I'm learning. I'm gonna learn how to be emotionally balanced. I know I'm different than everybody else. I'm not. I'm not like everybody else. And 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 everybody strives to be like that's perfect. You're not like the status quo, whatever. But to me. If I don't want to, like, in relationships, I'm not touchy-feely. I'm not like, oh, I'm not woo-woo, woo-woo-woo. That's not me. Like, I'm, I'm completely different than everybody else. And maybe I'm a little too different, hence why I'm still single. Why am I still single? Because I am too different. And, and that's okay after a while, but then it does get lonely. So, yeah. What else? I got a bariatric cookbook. Um, it's by a nutritionist who who has dealt with people in the weight loss community. So this cookbook, um, I will leave a picture right there. Um, and I will also leave the link to the cookbook from Amazon down in the box below. Did I get it from Amazon or did I get it from, I got it from Barnes and Nobles. I got it from Barnes and Nobles. I will leave the link in the description box down below. This is not sponsored, but, and this is actual books. I don't like, I don't have Audible. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of having books read to me. I kind of like reading books. If it interests me, I will read it. Hence why I have every single book of Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah. In like certain urban fictions. I will read a physical book. That is my thing. I love physical books. I do have a Kindle, so it's easier to travel with a Kindle sometimes. It's in the kitchen. I just finished making some high protein blueberry muffins. They're okay. Um, leave in the comments below if there's a difference between ground flax seeds and ground flaxseed meal M -m meal because I have ground flaxseed meal and it act called for ground flaxseed I don't know if it, the difference the ground flaxseed meal kind of smells I don't know if it's supposed to smell like that whatever I never had ground flaxseeds if I eat another muffin which they do take a little longer than the 15 minutes but do it for like 20 minutes or 20 like 22 minutes instead of 15 so it could cook but don't cook in longer than that um, they will get a little tough, FYI, because this is the third recipe I'm taking. Cauliflower mac and cheese is not a replacement for macaroni and cheese. It is not. I am sorry. No. Cauliflower mac and cheese is not a replacement for regular baked macaroni and cheese. It is not. It's okay. It got me to eat cottage cheese because I, I hate cottage cheese. I can't stand cottage cheese. So... It got me to eat some cottage cheese. <laughs> and the first recipe I did was turkey chili, and that chili lasts for a week. So if you want dinner for a few days, that turkey chili and that cookbook is the way to go. It's like really cool, and it tastes really good. Your house will be smelling balls. And that's another update. I got that very extra cookbook. I also got a paleo to go cookbook um, to learn how to do some different types of food with like some low carb options. So, yeah, and a lot of and a lot of recipes in that cookbook and that Brayasha cookbook are low in calories, so that's really good. And they do have it in stages where it's the puree stage, the post, um, the post surgery stage, like when you're a few months out, and then they also have it when you're years out, which I am three almost three years out. So yeah, 2015, 16, 17, 18, yeah, June 3rd will be my third year um surge anniversary. So yeah, that is it. I I'm the same weight that I've been since like October, November. Um, bariatric cookbook. I'm in the process of going for a second surgery and I am now talking to a psychologist. Remember, if you need to talk to somebody, please do, do not keep everything to yourself. The fact that I don't have anybody that I really want to talk to that will not judge me or try to give their opinion on what I should do is really hard because if you can't talk to your parent because they always say, you know your problem is? I didn't ask you what my problem was. I just needed to talk to you. And that is what a psychologist will do. They will help you navigate on what you can do to like get better. And also figure out 
why I overeat sometimes. So yeah, that is it guys. That was my March vertical sleeve update. I really hope you enjoy this little series here and I really hope it helps you and on your journey. And if you want to see me make a couple of recipes from that bariatric cookbook, let me know down below. And that is it guys. So if you want to see more from your girl, make sure you hit that little subscribe button. It is right over there. Please, please don't be the statistic. Don't be, I know there's like a lot of you out there that is not subscribed, so I just need y'all to subscribe, please. Just please subscribe to my channel. You will love it. I will love you for subscribing. That is the best thing we can do. Help me help you help me help you. That is it, that's all you guys to do. <laughs> and make sure you hit that little bell icon because YouTube is tripping. I don't know what's going on. I'm not that big for it to affect me, but just hit that little bell icon and make sure you thumbs up this video because you wanna see more videos from your girl. And like always guys, be blessed, be safe, and have a good resurrection weekend. Later guys.